Hello and welcome. Have you ever wondered how your phone figures out your location? It's crazy, right? In this episode of Scientify, let's try to understand how your phone's GPS works. GPS or Global Positioning System is a collection of satellites orbiting the Earth at an altitude of approximately 21,000 kilometers. To get to know your location, you need at least three satellites within radio contact. 24 satellites orbiting the Earth will guarantee that you have those three satellites available to you no matter where you are. We have 31 operational satellites right now, well, because it doesn't hurt to have extras. Now the GPS works by trilateration or by using intersecting spheres. One satellite tells you that you are 30,000 kilometers away from it. Since we are working in three dimensions, you could be anywhere on the sphere that I have drawn on the screen. Add one more satellite, you get another sphere and now the possible locations are down to a circle. Add the third satellite and the sphere and now the probable location goes down to a line. Now we need one last sphere to pinpoint our location. But I said we only need three satellites. The trick is to use the Earth as the fourth sphere. Adding the fourth sphere reduces our possible location to one point. And we have your location. If you also need your altitude, then you're going to need a fourth satellite. Now you might be wondering, how do satellites calculate their distances from you? Well, they don't. They just broadcast their time and their location. Your phone picks up that data, does a bunch of calculations and gives you your location. Sadly, this process takes a lot of time. You heard me, GPS is slow. A natural reply would be, but Google Maps is so fast. Only apps like Google Maps generally don't use GPS. All that explanation for nothing, huh? What you generally use is assisted GPS, wherein the app checks the ID on your Wi-Fi signal. It then draws imaginary circles from nearby cell phone towers to pinpoint your location. Basically, instead of using intersecting spheres, you have intersecting circles. Google Maps will use your phone's GPS only if this method fails. So you've probably never used your phone's GPS unless you've been in the middle of nowhere. Whoa, that was a cool twist to the story of the GPS. Let me know your thoughts on the video and GPS in general in the comments below. Please like and share the video if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell below so that you can keep up with us. Also, check out some of my other videos. I gave this really intuitive explanation of entropy. Do check out that video. If you're interested in some quantum physics with real-world applications, check out this video on quantum entanglement. I've explained the concept using a tale of my fictional twin brother and me.